I'm Adam W. and this is Real or Surreal, a show that's been described as Breaking Bad meets The Wire by many, many critics. I'm also here with somebody who's considered a friend by many critics. <laughs> what? We have her in here and she's gonna decide whether a photo that I edited is real or surreal. Okay, what's up? Uh, oh. what? Okay. Found it out? Yeah, okay, okay. I was gonna hug you. No, nah, I'm nah, good. Yeah. You... Well, okay, mm -hmm. all right, cool. Uh, we like to start off the show with some rapid fire facts about our guest. So let's jump in. Come on, let's get it. Prior to her social media fame, she actually worked as a long haul truck driver for 22 years. Do I look like a, do I look like a truck driver? I don't, where are you getting these facts from, Adam? She still owes her friend Jennifer $20 and never plans on paying her back. This is not, this isn't true, just. Not only does she clap when the plane lands, but she also tries to start the wave. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not true. Those are facts that we looked up. I am a clapper, I'm not a waver. Okay, but we looked those up online. So, okay. I disagree, okay. I disagree. Well, but before we get started, let's get into some paperwork. <laughs> okay, well. Just sign there at the bottom. Okay, well, what is, what is this exactly? Uh, you'll, you'll, yeah, I would just sign at the bottom is what right. I would do. Well, just, all right. So basically what you just contractually agreed to is that if you lose and guess wrong, you will have to solve a math equation and you can't leave till you get the answer, so. Okay, well, that's crazy because I think I'm good at math. Okay, so. well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Let's bring out the hot seat. Yeah, you're gonna have to stand up. Well, it's actually not a seat, it's just a heating pad. Okay. Yeah. Well, and these are I'm heating wearing leather, Adam. Yeah, those look like they're dry fit. Yeah, and it's getting hot. Okay, well, your time begins now. Which one's real and which one's surreal? Uh, okay, um, ooh, that one, okay, so this one over here, I really feel like is real, but then, uh, is that, but is that what you feel? I feel like they're both real. Are they both real? No, they're not both real. One is surreal, one's real. Uh, okay, I really think, I think it might be the left one, honestly, because. But is that what you feel? All right, I think. Okay. Time's up! Well, can I have a couple more? No, you can't. Okay, what is your answer? Um, The one where you're laying down. The one where you're laying down, for sure. Okay. That's the All one. Right. All right, well. That's the final answer. That is actually wrong. No, look, I'll show you how I did it. Oh, I should have gotten that right. Yeah, well, you got it wrong. Yeah, well, how did you even learn how to Photoshop? Laptop! Mm -hmm. Uh, they, sorry, they usually come out when I, laptop! They come out when I say that. Okay, all right, check this out. So I had to bring kids in the mix on this one because I swear everyone can edit photos in Photoshop and I'm about to prove that to you. Okay, so I actually took these photos separately. One of me laying on the ground and the other one of the little dude stomping so the first thing I did to edit was remove the background of the picture with the kid using a mask. Okay, so you select, select and mask. And if you have the latest version of Photoshop, which you absolutely should, I don't know why you wouldn't. I hope you do. You can actually just use their AI, Adobe Sensei, to make your selections. So you hit the select subject at the top and Photoshop will analyze the photo and select the main subject of it. In this case, it was the kid. And look, it might not be exactly perfect, so you can always go in and touch it up if you'd like. All right, and then once I felt good about my fine tuning, and then I took the mask kid layer and I added it to the picture of me laying on the grass. Then using the perspective warp, I just readjusted the size of the kid to make him look a lot bigger than he actually is. And basically you just select around the object. So in this image, again, it's the kid. All you do is click and drag the corners to play with the perspective of the object. And then to finish it out, I just blended the kid into the picture by color correcting and using the dodge tool. That's it. Wow, that was pretty easy. Yeah, anybody can do it. All right, thanks for watching Real or Surreal presented by Adobe. And as promised, our guest will now undergo the punishment for her ignorance. So let's bring in the math equation. Math equation, well thank God, because I know how to do math. Oh uh, yeah, well, I don't know if you know how to do this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Can I? Uh, yeah, I think you have to carry an exponent. Well, you, have you ever used PEMDAS? There's an exclamation point here. Yeah, that's for. That's it. not math. It's a factorial. Do you have? Uh, can I use my phone? No, you can't use your phone. Why would you use your phone? Actually, no. Go ahead. Use your phone. Are you gonna be able to type that in on okay, your phone? Okay. Well, I need something else. This is too much. This isn't even real. You, would you be able to do this? Well, no. All right. Fine. You know what? 
Fly out the board, bring in option number two. What? Okay, we'll just make sure it's not that. Uh, so what <laughs> you're gonna do is you're gonna untangle all these wires and um, I actually just need it for my entertainment center. Okay, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. I, I seriously, I didn't. Yeah, and then I like chargers we were... in here. But yeah, but you didn't. Can you just like? <laughs> and I'm here today with my friend Matt, and he's gonna guess whether a photo is real or surreal. What's up, man? What's going on, man? All right. I don't know, cause you. I'm ready? Let's do it. Well, the time starts now. One of these photos is real and the other is surreal. <laughs>